G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope that you are super well. I'm so sorry, I have not quite had the same output as I would normally like because I had man flu last week. I did think it might be COVID. I got tested, all is good. But let's keep moving things right along because the title of the video is going to have made you awfully excited. And it's accurate to a point, but I'm about to reveal all. Yes, I have received my Z9 small rig cage. How cool is that? I mean, here it is. Here is the cage for the Z9. It gives us a really good sense of scale and all the different things that are going on here. So I am getting all my bits and pieces together so I can go Z9 crazy. Yes, indeed, I do have the Z9 small rig cage. Super excited, ready to roll like thunder with that little beauty right there. I'm gonna take this opportunity to also talk about some very other cool things from small rig. And I wanna start right here with this little wonder this little wonder right here. This is the ZFC. No, that's not from Small Rig. I'm just joking. Let me show you right here, right now. It's this. Now you may or may not have noticed because it's so well done. This grip, this grip, which really is, it's such a simple and affordable little change to the camera, but it actually makes a massive difference. If you've got a ZFC and you wanna hang on to it a little bit tighter, I thoroughly recommend this, but this thing is far more than just an extra grip. Not only that, but it has the Arca Swiss style tripod base, which works with so many different things, including things like your Joby tripod mount and a lot of other brands of tripods and things to mount to. That's built in to the bottom of this grip. But wait, what's this you say? Check this out, it's the coolest little thing. If you want to use your hot shoe for something else, you can throw, there's actually a hot shoe mount down the bottom there. How cool is that to have that little hot shoe mount down the bottom and this is all built into the grip. I just think it's the greatest. What's great about the grip is everything still is accessible. So we can still get to our battery. No problem at all to our battery. There's the battery and and of course we can still get to the SD card as well. So look, I think this is a great addition. I personally prefer my ZFC with the grip. Of course, that's what I'm used to, having used cameras with grips. I think the last camera that didn't have a grip was my first camera, which was the Pentax K1000. Of course, the flippy screen still flips, so everything works as we would expect it to. I love this little grip from Small Rig. Now, I just wanted to let you know that this video is not sponsored. No money has changed hands, but Small Rig have provided the things that we are seeing here today. The next thing I want to show you is this. How about this? This is the cutest little tripod. Now, it's just useful for all sorts of things. I've used it for holding microphones, for holding a screen on my desk, and of course, use it for vlogging and whatever else. Very affordable, very light, universal ball socket head. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I would love to show you is, is this gorgeous little leather case. Now, this is the first time I've actually put this on and that makes the grip larger and that feels really good. That feels really nice. Also comes with a leather strap. So you can put it around your neck and have the old school vibe. I have to say, holding on to something that's leather is actually quite, it feels really nice and comfortable, like you're, you know, you're holding something that's softer, softer than anything else that I've held before. So if you like that kind of look and like that feel, again, I think this is great and it's super affordable. Now, Small Rig also distribute lights and they have this light here, which like most lights is RGB. It can go through the gamut. It's quite bright. It's USB-C rechargeable and these things are super useful. Now, there are many, many brands of these at this stage. I haven't been using any of these long enough to know which is better, which lasts longer, which is more breakable. I like the build quality of this. It feels like metal to me. 
nice screen on the back. Yeah, I think these sorts of lights, they're, they're super useful and lots of fun. It does look like a direct copy of a Loom Cube style thing, but I don't know who was first, to be honest with you. And of course you can control the color temperature. There we are going cold through to warm. And that's maximum brightness right there. Yeah, that's pretty bright. I would absolutely be able to use that to light myself for shooting in an emergency. So you can go through a whole range of modes, flash, TV screen, surely there's some, oh, here we go, flame, and flame one, flame two, candle, flame two, fire truck, Great for special effects. Anyway, this sort of stuff is cool too. And again, extremely affordable, worth having in the bag if you just need some quick special effects or you just need a bright light quickly. Love these sorts of things. And as I said, mounting point on the bottom there and the USB, it's the bright, the light was so bright I couldn't see. Mounting point and USB-C charging port right there. I've been buying small rig stuff for quite some time now. It could be as early as the first Z6 or perhaps earlier than that. So at least three years, but I feel like it's been longer and I like what they do. It's affordable stuff. It's always well made and they do help you add on a whole range of things to your gear and they make all sorts of different stuff. I also want to say when it comes to this grip here, I've been using this for around about a month. I've had it for actually quite a while and had it on a previous uh, ZFC that I had before and it really is great. I've used it for a while and I just think it works super well and makes the whole experience more comfortable. So real world usage, this is a great and very affordable addition to your ZFC. Well, there we have it, everybody. Please, I would love you to let me know in the comments below, are you interested in the grip for your ZFC? Would you be going for a Z9 cage? Of course, because the Z9 has such ridiculous video specs, unlike I think any of us have ever seen. I mean, the whole notion of having 8K RAW for, what is it, two hours, or at least 8K something for two hours, and then we're gonna be having 8K 60P coming later on. This thing is an absolutely outstanding video camera. And of course, not only did uh, DP Review uh, give it very high marks, but uh, DP Review, the two lads, separately with their own little awards program also gave this best video camera of the year alongside the Ronin which of course is a profoundly exciting camera in itself with its built-in Steadicam. I'm certainly interested in that too for specific types of things. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are in regards to any of these different small rig things that might fit into your world and everything else that I can't carry. Well, it's been so fabulous to see you and I do hope that you are super well. I'm becoming super well. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And if this is your first time here, golly gosh, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share and please like. Don't forget merch. I've just been, I've just been packing some books. Somebody bought both of my books. The books are in here. They're in these things. Well, one's a Sydney book and one's a Melbourne book. They're getting both and that's going, where's the sticker? It's going off to Germany, I think it is. And that's super exciting. The merch, I'm a bit vintage. I thought it was appropriate to, to go with the ZFC. Don't forget channel membership and all of those things. I look forward to seeing you. Oh, so very soon. I'll be back. Skynet, it's, that's definitely Skynet, I'm going. This is the Nikkor Z 28mm f 2.8, almost pancake lens. We've got a fun review coming super soon. But as you can see right here with these images, it's absolutely a cracker. And for a walk around street lens, you don't need anything else. Thank you.